Hi, I'm Kyle Conrad and this is another EMI News Update. Today the Minister for Immigration, Mr Tudge, announced on the 15th of November the citizenship test will include a dedicated section on Australian values. Mr Tudge says that the updated citizenship test will have a new and more meaningful questions that require potential citizens to understand and commit to our values like freedom of speech, mutual respect, equality of opportunity, the importance of democracy and the rule of law. Now, two years ago, there was a proposition for the Australian citizenship test to have a minimum English requirement. Fortunately, those proposals were voted down. Today, this is the first time the test has been updated in over a decade, but in reality, the changes are really a minor nature. There are five new questions in the Australian values sections which make up 25% of the test. From the 15th of November, you are required to get all five of those questions on the Australian values correct. In addition, you have to achieve an overall score of 75% to pass the citizenship test. There have been no changes made to the residency requirements and thankfully, no further suggestions relating to English requirements either. Citizenship and testing ceremonies were seeing huge delays due to the COVID measures but now have largely resumed with the exception of Melbourne. Now you've been seeing a lot of me lately as there's been a lot of change afoot in the last few weeks. Australian immigration policies naturally have had to reprioritize given the COVID-19 pandemic. Victoria's second wave has been very hurtful and brought home the reality that it will be a while before things return to how it used to be. But amongst all the COVID-19 response related shifts, it feels like the government has found an opportunity to justify a lot of changes that they have been inclining towards. There are many perspectives on whether the changes are good or bad for Australia, but no denying they are having a hugely negative impact upon those wishing to live in Australia. If anything is certain right now, it is uncertainty. I can only hope that we all continue to be kind to each other, especially in these difficult times, and the welcoming and helpful Australian spirit holds steadfast. Now, if you need some help, reach out to us or head over to Emmy News through our website where we've got many useful guides and articles there. Say hello on Facebook and Instagram and if you want to keep up with all what's going on in Australian immigration, please do hit the subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Thanks for being here today and as always, take care out there and bye for now.